In this video I'm going to show you how to clone your computer's hard drive onto a smaller solid state drive and I'll show you how to correctly resize it in case you come across any problems. So you're going to need three things to do this. You need a solid state hard drive, you're going to need Macrim Reflect the free cloning software and you're also going to need an external hard drive reader. I'll put all the links below. Okay so we've got our main hard drive here always make sure you know which hard drive is which. The C drive is always your main hard drive with your operating system on. This is the secondary drive that we're going to be using and we want to clone our main hard drive onto this new hard drive here. We've got three different partitions here. Uh, what I recommend that you do is you get rid of these three partitions. We can quickly do that using the command prompts. So go down to the box and type in CMD and when the command prompt comes up click on run as administrator. Click on yes to open it up and when it opens up type in disk pass, all one word. Enter. Okay and now what we want to do is we want to just find out what disks we've got on our computer. Uh, so we're going to type in list disk and it's disk number one is going to be our donor hard drive here, the 149 gig one. Uh, so we want to select that disk, so select disk one. Now that's selected we're just going to type in clean and that has now successfully cleaned the hard drive for us so we can close that down now and what we now want to do is go to disk we want to go to disk partitions so type in disk create and format hard drive and then we just want to initialize the disk so we got it selected here uh, we want the MBR selected click on OK unallocated space here right click once onto it and select new simple volume click on next click on next we're going to assign the letter D to it click on next NTFS yes click on next and finish so this hard drive is now formatted and we've now got one partition on there we can close this disk partition close disk management down and then if I refresh in Macrium Reflect here these three partitions should have disappeared there we go so we've got one partition just makes things nice and simple now <clears throat> so we want to get these two partitions on our larger main hard drive onto this new smaller hard drive here click on clone this disk let's just check that with the local disk is the main hard drive yes it is we've got Windows C here that's our main hard drive on the computer we're going to clone it onto this new hard drive let's select the let's make sure it's there there it is click on that hard drive so now we so now we're going from our main hard drive onto this smaller hard drive but as we can see our main hard drive is 223 gigabytes this partition here plus 100 meg over there as well uh, whereas our new hard drive is only 149 gigabytes so this is too big to go onto here so we're going to shrink this down but first of all let's move this partition down into here so put the pointer onto this partition here and just drag it down here and let go so we've got this we've got this system partition onto the hard drive here drag this C partition down into our new hard drive down here and we can see that it's automatically resized this here uh, so the original C drive is 83 gigabytes of used space out of 223 we've dragged it down and it's put the 83 gigabytes of used space into the remaining 148 of the uh, of the hard drive down here it's automatically resized it for us so that's nice and easy we can click on next and it will start cloning the, the our main hard drive onto our new drive sometimes you may have a situation where you've got other partitions and you just can't fit them down onto the onto your new drive you need to reallocate the size of the partitions and um, I'll give you an example of that next so here we've got a hard drive with three partitions on as our main drive and we want to move it onto this smaller drive down here which is 149 gigabytes. So we're going from 223 gigabytes down to a smaller drive. So again we can drag these partitions down so let's start off with this first one. We'll put the first partition down here. We'll put the second partition which is the C partition down here and then we'll see that there's no room to put the, uh, this, final, this, this final partition down here. So let's just undo it a second. What we can do instead is we can put this one down here first, we can put this smaller one down here second and then the remaining space we can drag the main C drive down there. So we've got these three partitions on here in a slightly different order. Now the order of the partitions on your hard drive doesn't matter but if you really want to make sure, that, if you really did want to make sure that the same setup then we have to use a different method. 
So if you wanted to make sure that the partitions are in exactly the right order, which isn't necessary, but if you really want to do that, that's fine, and we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, as before, drag the first partition down. First one's done. Second partition, the main C drive, let's pu put that down here. And as we can see, we can't drag this one down here now because this is taking up the remaining space on the drive. So what we need to do is we need to shrink this ever so slightly to this value here. So the third partition is 198 megabytes. It's not very big, but it's still too big to go on here at the moment. So we need to change this. So click on cloned partition properties. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Remember, this is this the size of this one is 198 megabytes. So on here, where it says free space, click into the box and type in 198. Make sure this says megabytes here, which it does, and click on OK. And we've now created an extra bit of room here and we can then drag this partition down here and then we've got the three partitions lined up in exactly the right order then you can click on next and start the cloning process